gator, isn't it? I think this no, that's be... pretty big, yeah. Yeah, a couple of four-meter gators uh, that are, in fact, completely white. Uh, albino gators, in fact. Wow. Well. Which, uh, which is the encounter you managed to skip by being nice to the orcs. Um, finally, you make it to the Pirate's Cove. Uh, and what does it say about that? Okay. Uh, the pungent smell of fish and stagnant seawater assault your nose as you look out over the Pirate's Cove. A sprawling town in its own right. Oh, it's large. The cove resides in an, an enormous cavern. The, seas in, the ceiling easily 100 meters above your head. Crescent-shaped, the cove is almost two kilometers wide. Wow, that is fucking big. <laughs> and, dozens, and dozens of boats are docked along the rough piers jetted out from the shoreline. Most are small private boats, although there are several large fishing trawlers that would be ideal for smuggling small goods past the Chicago ports. In the distance, you can see a small crack in the far end of the cavern. Obviously, the narrow, hidden entrance in the rocks that leaves in and out of the cove. Hmm. Well, when I heard Pirate's Cove, I was thinking a bar, but... Uh, your friend Pip uh, will say uh, there, I-, I brought you here. That's my job done. But that, yeah. um, uh, this is the uh, edge of the territory I'm allowed to walk around in. Well, thank you very much. You did your job badly. And if you do want assistance with that asshole who raped your sister, here's my car. I'll give you a good rate. Okay. Uh, he looks you up and down and says, can I get his card? And then looks at Falk. <laughs> 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 wow, he completely ignores me. Uh, I was going to say you, Chaos, but I thought that Falk would be more appropriate. <sighs> what I miss? Uh, An orc is asked if you would be willing to help him get revenge on a uh, guy who raped his sister, who is not an orc. Uh, we don't know who he is. Um, <laughs> no. He shrugs and walks away. Well then. So, I was also expecting a bar. This is a shit ton of space to try and check. Mm, Uh, It is. I'm going to go find a hooker. I could maybe try to find... Are you going to do the old shark skin dick gag? No. <laughs> Why do you think I have Six. to wear a good condom? Listen, she's been with Charles. She wouldn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so sure I, I go find a hooker. Okay. A street girl. A lady of the night, if you will. Uh, around several of the bars appear to be several ladies who's negotiate, who whose virtue is negotiable. <laughs> uh, do we have to? Is is everyone speaking in a swarmy, piratey type way? You mean are they going? Ah, uh, no. I think that's just the name of this place. They're talking mostly orc-ish in terms of. Accents, because most of the people down here are orcs. There's the odd other person to make Volk feel slightly less um, unhappy about this situation. But this is an orc place full of orc people, for orc people, made by the dwarves. <laughs> made by the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> because it's cavern. Because reasons. Okay. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If she hollers, then keep doing what you're doing. I'm that doesn't gonna... rhyme. Yeah, so. But, yeah, so I pick uh, that hooker there leaning against the wall with a big giant cigar in her mouth. Uh-huh. Okay, so you talk to uh, old uh, grandma 
Uh, what's her name? What's a good name for a grandma? Oh, uh, grandma. grandma Chastity. Yep, that's it. That's uh, who we're talking to today. Uh, uh, this this um, this particular lady of negotiable virtue uh, looked like um, she uh, looked like uh, she's negotiated more virtue than you've had hot diggers, hot dinners. Uh, as she's been doing this job for that long. Uh, I don't know how old your characters are, but there's a fair chance, or there's some chance at least, uh, that she's uh, older than all of your characters put together. Uh, she hides this under an appropriate layer of makeup that looks thicker than her skin. I'm thicker than you, certainly than your armor. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm curious, like is this to... off the top of your head or is this actually in the book? That's off the top of my head, why? <laughs> I was God damn it. If it was actually in the book, I would be laughing harder. I don't right. think I, I think the book is, other than the killing, fairly G rated. Fuck. Is G fairly G for normal? I haven't I haven't seen any sexy jokes or anything like that in the book. I think it's uh, uh, anyway, go on. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna walk up to uh, Grandma Chastity. <laughs> And I'm going to be like, excuse me, uh, quick question if you're willing to answer for 200 new yen. <laughs> oh, oh, darling, I'll be happy to answer any question you like for 500 new yen. <laughs> Jack Turner. <laughs> she runs it. Jack Turner. Uh, you do yeah. know she said 500, not 200. I heard. Okay. Uh, Jack Turner, uh, yep, uh, star of uh, little known, uh, what's the word, Quintology, a little known Quintology in the 2000s, well, what about him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're coming out with a new movie, I forgot about that. Actually, it's going to be yeah, five, so Quint. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be a sixth, as much <laughs> as I love them. Yeah. They've, done enough. They've done enough now, right? Yes. <laughs> But I'll still see it. Okay. Now looking for looking for Jack Turner. He's supposed to be down here somewhere. It's good for good friend of mine. Good friend of mine. It's just that you know he had to go into hiding. I was just wondering if you knew where he was. Yeah, she pulls out a, a, a merchant slot. Uh, um, a merchant. Um, uh, one of the slot machine, you know, like they like the waitresses carry, you know what I mean? Oh well, comlinks can scan credit card credit sticks. Yeah, yeah she's she's old school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she falls out a merchant uh, a merchant thing um, that uh, and smiles and says, "Oh, uh, I think I remember him. He used to be a naughty boy." Uh, and hands you the merchant terminal. Oh, I'm not taking it until she's given me proper information. Yeah, she's a lady of negotiable virtue. Um, she gets payment up front. Because, um, uh, no, I, I won't do that story. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Let's not go there. Well, the last hooker I lived with um, uh, really hated people, always really tried to get cash up front uh, because I, cause she was only, she'd only work when she needed to work, and that meant she needed the cash. Uh, and this one guy... <laughs> I love that it's <laughs> not the hooker he lived with, it's the last the hooker. Last hooker yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, a couple of times she got done and the guy would say, I owe you, but she tended to work like at truck stops, so she didn't know when she would see the guys again. Uh, if you're a first-time customer, then a hooker will want cash up front. All right. She gets 500 uh, up front, uh, and I swear to God, if she doesn't answer me correctly, then I will... Oh, wait, what What race is she? Uh, orc. Oh, then she's I'll almost. Let... Let she's almost play. she's almost 40. I mean, I could try and negotiate for her to give you at least some information to assure you she actually knew what she was talking about. 
Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome to do that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll see you asking for the information, her asking for money up front, and I'll try and persuade her to at least, you know, give us a taste. Yeah, she reels off a bunch of details about uh, uh, about a child growing up in the Pirate's Cove and progressing into uh, a young man and beyond that. Uh, uh, you're reasonably... <laughs> If you do a detective sense motive or whatever, which I'm assuming you'll get good results on, um, uh, you'll believe that she's telling the story of Jack Turner's life. Wait, and I can confirm up. it against the file that we got, at least a little bit. Hold up. Okay, what does Jack Turner look like? I actually don't know. Do you want me to check? Yes. I assume she'll give an accurate description, though. She gives an accurate description of Jack Turner. I lean over to Squirrel. Is she right? Well, I sent you the file, too. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, yeah I sent everybody the file. Uh, here's a description that I've got of Jack Turner. Jack Turner is a thief, thorough, through and through. However, he's a charming thief, a rogue and a scoundrel. Those, that, those who know him can't help but like. He, uh, he operates a fishing boat named the Fortune Hunter, out of Pirate's Cove in the York Underground. She doesn't tell you Fortune Hunter yet. Uh, Pirate's Cove in the York Underground that he uses to smuggle small, valuable goods into and out of Chicago. He normally runs guns. Aww, and, I don't want to sell this guy down the river. He normally runs guns and BTLs for local crime losses. But uh, when do you... Well, I want to read you the rest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't have a picture of him. Um, so I can't give you that, but she gives you an accurate, what you, what you believe, and as far as you can confirm, is an accurate, um, uh, description of him. Uh, and she certainly seems to know everything about the area, having lived, uh, uh, literally a lifetime here. All right, all right, I give her 500. Uh, then she tells you the name of the fortune hunter, and... Where it is on the dock, she gives you the dock number uh, and um, more in address. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, and also, yes. Uh, okay. You know, unless she wants to try and seduce the elf. Uh, as old, uh, being as old as she is, her skill is probably very high. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that's counted by her negative charisma. Yeah, everything else gives negatives. That's anyway. why you close your eyes. <laughs> Put a bag over your over your own head. I close my eyes, drew back the curtain, and I knew for certain what I thought was true. I didn't, you don't normally think that would apply in many circumstances, but it does apply here, doesn't it? <laughs> well, well, as we're walking away, I will look back and give her a wink. Ew. Uh, Ew. She, smi she smiles, a, a, a practiced smile. With several teeth. With several teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Volk I had to know that was coming. Yeah. It's just polite. Volk. Uh, that would probably be polite. In Russian to Volk. We got we got a we got an address, comrade. Shall we shall we <laughs> cuck cuck? Is that your answer for everything? It's a pretty good system I live by. It's alive. <laughs> Let's see here. Smuggler, how many guards? Hmm, that's a good question. Smuggler, how many traps and dis and things that could literally destroy that boat if anyone so much as goes 20 yards of it? Smuggler on a boat who, if he saw trouble coming, could just go away. How many weapons does he have? and does And how well does he know how to use them? Better question is... I guarantee better... you this. You'll find out if you approach him with your weapons loaded and aimed at him. Well, they're always loaded, but I never said aiming. Cocked. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> and, uh, see if he's got any security on the boat. Maybe he's looking to find some cameras. Take a look around. Well, yeah, that's what we have you for. 
Exactly. Sorry, okay. I nearly forgot you were here. Yeah, I've been quiet. Okay, in the immediate area, being the Orc Underground, the there isn't much in the way of uh, external obvious security. Oh, fuck, there's a lot inside. I'm going to have to tone that down a bit, probably. Uh, oh, just to be clear, <laughs> is he an orc or a troll? Who? Uh, Jack Turner. Let me check. Oh, yeah. I assume he's an orc, but I, I don't think I have a picture of him. This book seems to be lacking a lot of basic information. <laughs> it's actually quite... Uh, I'll, it's... Bet, I'll bet you 500 bucks that the uh, picture of Jack Turner's on the last page. <laughs> uh, it's it's got it's got details for uh, McAllister, Lauren Nazir, Dana Oaks, Tosh Afak, and Morrow. Ooh, uh, did we deal with Amaro? We must have dealt with Amaro. Oh yeah, that's uh, that was way back when. And Jack Turner. And Jack Turner is the only one it doesn't have a picture for, uh, which is uh, slightly disappointing. You tried skipping it's, a few pages? Yeah, I, I, it's at the la I'm on the last page of the book, page 26. Hmm. It, it's a pretty good book, actually. I'm really impressed. Um, oh, okay. There is sort of a picture of him. He's an orc. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming it's him. It's just on a page that's near his section. Uh, yeah, he's an orc. Uh, the picture they've got of him has got a couple of scars on it and he's missing an eye. <laughs> of course he is. Is he wearing uh, a tri, he wearing a tri hold? It, He's only got a picture of his face and gun. Uh, I'll, I'll share my screen if you want me to. Nah. Sure. And the yeah. head is called a tricorn. Tricorn, sorry. Philistine. Mm -hmm. mm, so, where's Skype? Uh, so, call... how radioactive is the water? Uh, Enough to make an alligator into a death claw. How do I share screen? Wait. Where is it? Call share screens. Start. You know I laugh, but at four there minutes, you go. he is technically <clears throat> right. I assume that's him, and uh, you have to ignore the girl that's gagged in the background. All right. But that would be uh, that would be Jack Turner, I think. Not that it's a massively good picture, but that's what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, ignore the girl gagged in the background. Uh, Are you sure she's gagged and not just a member of Antifa? Uh, she could be whatever you want her to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you, do you want, are you done with that now? Yeah. Yes. I mean, okay, there you go. If, she, if she could be anything we want her to be, then she could be a short human girl with a promiscuous side for people who are cybered up beyond all fuck. <laughs> who sure also that... happens to be a host for Force Nine Spirit. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's not do that. Uh, I don't think it's your choice whether you do that or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wh whoever said that, they're going into the drink. So, yes, okay. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, going towards uh, wharf number so-and-so with... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I did tell everybody non-lethal takedown on this guy, or otherwise we get screwed, right? Nope. Now you know. <laughs> Just like, uh, no, that is information that you did not say. Hmm. So, no blowing off, up the ship with him on it. Off character uh, knowledge here. Uh, I don't exactly remember what we're doing with this guy, aside from what the Night Errant thing, we're capturing him. And he's all, uh, the archaeologist that we're coming looking for was supposed to have had a meeting with him. Gotcha. Okay, that's right. Uh, it's, it, it's been two weeks, I forgot. I'm sorry. It's fine. Sorry about that. <laughs> but if you fuckers hold it against me, then I'll shoot you. I already... You know, the greatest you. thing about this party is just how cohesive we are as a group. Right? 
What? Everyone hate everyone warily acknowledges the others. Yeah. Most of the time. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. I mean, look at it this way. He said, do not blow up the ship, and I don't have a fucking thing to blow up the ship with. I'm sure we could find something. <laughs> I'm sure too. Hey, crap. What? Maybe we'll find a submachine gun on that ship. Uh, stop talking. You're up to... Uh, four, four, seven, eight. You're up to 8,300 new yen each for this job at the moment. That's enough, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'm going to double the karma at least because it's gone over two sessions anyway. Right. Yeah. Oh, Lord. All right. Yeah, let's head for the, uh, head for the dock. Yeah. I was, okay. Uh, yeah, let's head over to the wharf. So the docks at Pirate's Cove are crude. Most of the equipment is antiquated and low-tech. The buildings are ramshackle affairs thrown together out of wood and scavenged metal sheets. And many look to be have uh, been built from the hulls of scavenged ships. The entire feel of Pirate's Cove is exactly what the name implies, a 19th century pirate port. The orcs work at the dock have a hard edge to them, and most of the boats sport weaponry of some kind. This isn't a simple pleasure port. This is the hub of some of Chicago's biggest smugglers work. So, you find... Nowhere in the galaxy is there an equal den of villainy and scum. Except for the place we go next week. <laughs> really? I, I was gonna I was gonna say wherever the fuck uh, Chaos Volk flashback and Squirrel and Way on go for uh, dinner. Right. Yeah, okay. So the Fortune Hunter, you can uh, identify from a distance, because I'm assuming you're looking at boats' names uh, in the distance rather than approaching. Uh, it's a good-sized fishing boat with several cabins. You can see that it's got a large cabin area with, that would have several rooms in it, uh, two stories, or you would uh, imply two stories, one semi-on-deck, semi-below-deck, and one above that. Um, Douglas, you're making me want to steal this thing and make it my house. <laughs> I was gonna say, if we're, yeah. if, we're, you know, if we're not blowing the boat up, we can you know, have a boat. If it wasn't for the fishy smell, uh, you would definitely want. Uh, I could say the description I gave it did imply that you would want it as a houseboat. Uh, it does. Uh, the whole place, however, stinks of uh, diesel and fish. Uh, and having well, as, and having worked on a fishing boat, uh, kind of, well, um, you never, you just literally can't get rid of the smell of diesel and fish. Um, once fish smell has gotten onto something, the way it gets into the wood of a boat, uh, this isn't a fiberglass modern boat. Um, this will be uh, a wooden uh, boat. Although, although you know, you know, a, a down. So you're saying it smells like Chaos's mom? Diesel fish. I mean, I was going to say if you want to live in a, te- a truck stop motel room. That too. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm not saying you could certainly live on this boat. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say ramshackle but, because I already said that, but I want to. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, but it, it's you know it's big enough uh, to be uh, to be used as a houseboat. Um, it's just that it, you know if you do live on there, that you will smell of diesel and fish because that smell just doesn't doesn't go away. Uh, my mother spent. <laughs> Many, many hours cleaning the kitchen after my father had finished. Uh, and he would take long, long showers. Um, and that's only on um, a hobby fishing boat, if that makes sense. Uh, but the boat always smelt of the, and the car, to be frank, as well. Uh, always smelt of diesel and fish. Uh, it's, it's fine if you're used to it, but people will notice. Hmm. But yeah, you could take this. This it, this is the kind of thing you could take and turn into a house. Um, it's certainly big enough to. Uh, it's certainly it's certainly got several rooms and two stories. 
Or even if we're not living on it, you know, having a smuggling boat around wouldn't be a, a bad thing to keep on down hand. Uh, you don't think, uh, I mean, you don't have the mooring rights to keep it here. And your guess is the mooring rights in this place isn't down to a waiting list and paying fees. Yeah. So, anyway. Flashback. Yep, I'll uh, find a comfortable place to sit down. Go hot sim and start looking around the boat for security measures, cameras, anything of interest. Okay, so there's... Peter's this place is specifically not the city and specifically uh, avoided by at least the front of corporations as well as the police. Uh, And specifically is very, very much in the anti-security business rather than the security business. Uh, there's no obvious cameras or anything like that on the streets. Uh, there oh, are on the boat. On the boat. Yep. Uh, I just wanted to okay, gotcha. uh, get the area for it. Um, there are plenty of hidden icons. Plenty of hidden icons. However, as that only requires a matrix perception test and time, uh, you will, uh, given a few minutes anyway, uh, be able to sort through most of those. Uh, and find um, some uh, that are uh, attached to the boat. Uh, Uh, By the way, before I forget, because God knows I will, I am switching my bullets to uh, stick and shock in both my pistols. Okay, anybody else want to do similar? Yeah, I'll do that before I go walking. I've already got my L36, and I only have stick and shock for that. So, okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah. So you find you're, you're able to find several hidden icons associated with the boat. Uh, I'm assuming you want to hack them. Yeah. What? What are? What exactly are they? Okay. So uh, you can find there's a couple of cameras on the outside. Uh, there isn't any cameras on the inside, strangely. Uh, uh, as, uh, how can I put this? It's, uh, all right, there, there is, uh, cameras on the downstairs of the inside, but not on the upstairs, because there's some places where you don't want security to watch what you're doing, right? Right. Uh, but externally, there's certainly cameras, uh, on the approach, uh, camera, cameras covering the, the outside and the approach, uh, and there's a camera covering, uh, the Uh, on the inside, that covers the door, uh, and anything anything else, really? I'm going to say that there's a security screen there. Uh, There's a security screen uh, that's attached uh, on that as well. So, uh, yeah, you've got cameras on the outside that you can uh, test an internal camera, uh, and that's uh, all that's uh, externally available, but they're all going to be connected to a network and, and perhaps there's some security screens on that network. Okay. Um, well, can I... No. Go ahead and try to put a mark on the the, the host network. Uh, sure. Why not? We'll, we'll do it that way. Uh, go for it. That way I can access it all. A mark? Yeah, one at a time. You do one at a time. You could do two at a time, but only if you're really fucking good. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Okay, no. Uh, hmm. So. So I, I'm going to say before we do this that uh, we're 50, 50 or so yards away from the boat. There's a couple of people trolling around, literally. Um, there's no one in the immediate area of the boat. Okay? Mm-hmm. Do people seem to be actively avoiding it, or is there just nobody around? No, there's just not. There's just uh, in the same way as Marina, you have people hanging around the harbor master's office. 
uh, and walking around the car park and the area outside. But the only people on the marina itself are people who are interested in the boats. Um, no one's interested in this boat, or so it appears. Or no one has any business to do immediately on this boat. The boats are like shops and shit. You see people either on them or walking to and from them. Um, so it's just like just like a marina. There are people, but not like a mall level of people. Um, you know, there's there's small groups uh, with plenty with fifty yards between them, um, plenty of space, but, uh, and no one's paying any particular attention. If, if that, I think that's a reasonable description, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. All right, flash okay. back to you. Looks like you got a mark on the ship. Yeah, okay. So I got one mark on their host. Um, from that with that, I would be able to access the security cameras, look inside, like the ones that are downstairs, check the security screens. Okay. Uh, so externally, you see what there is. There's nothing to see there. Uh, internally, the security screens are monitoring uh, are monitoring the cameras on a rotational basis. Uh, you can't see, but you can hear some uh, orcs chattering um, on the internal camera. Okay. Uh, patch me in. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll share that stream with everyone else. All right. Okay. What language are they speaking? Uh, they're speaking, uh, they're singing, actually. They appear to be taking some kind of singing game uh, to the song California Boobs. The puppet comes out, goes over my hand, <laughs> goes, looks up at the, the puppet looks up at the sky going, why, GM, why do you have to do this to us? <laughs> well, uh, would you like to hear the song California Boobs? It's probably copyrighted, no. Uh, I don't think they'd care, actually. Then the puppet goes away. Here you go. I'll, 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 I'll get you a link, at least, so that those of you who do care can listen to it. I'll listen to it later. No, you won't. Yes, I will. You, only said, you only said that to make the GM happy. Now, I will listen to it later, and I, if you want, I can send you a video of me singing it. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> I would have used it because I watched it today. Yeah, nice. Um, any cyberware or anything that I can see on the ship? Uh, cyberware on the ship? No, the boat is not a zombie. No, I mean like anybody using cyberware on the ship. <sighs> um, are they that stupid? <laughs> let me just let me just check if they are that. Because apparently most people are that stupid. Because apparently it's just the thing. To be that stupid. I mean, if they have cyber eyes, I can attack that too. And... Wait, you mean people actually have their cyberware as wireless? Uh, because it gives bonuses. Yeah. You know, th th there's a reason they they genuinely make it. Uh, they genuinely give you at least a small reason to be wireless. Uh, well, I cyber mean, eyes don't, unfortunately. Uh, don't they? Okay. Nope. Uh, uh, on comlinks. By definition, uh, uh, they, the, the one thing I haven't done, which I should have done more of, is if you're running silent your comlink, people should notice and look at you and go, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Well, ooh. I, have, I have burner phones for that. Uh, well, that's fine. We, we, I should make you say it. Uh, no, uh, they don't appear to have... Oh, they do. Um, th there are there are a couple of icons there. Um, you're welcome to hack them. Um, and because these are orc guards, although they're professional rating three, comlink DR4, you could beat... Uh, you, that's going to be eight to beat then, eight dice to beat if you want to hack them, um, uh, if you want to hack their comlink. Sure. Mm. Now you get to try and beat two. Yep, no problem. Yeah, there you go. So you get uh, uh, a link on whoever they're linked to, uh, whoever they're all slave to. Um, uh, you get a comlink link as okay. well. 
uh, ex- examining the comlink, the only thing uh, other than uh, other than all their personal shit, because you know, let's face it, everyone uses their comlink as an iPad, right? Right. Uh, so uh, you see plenty of music videos. Not that I can be bothered to list all of those, uh, and they all uh, they all seem to have AR goggles on. Uh, they're not cybered up, but that doesn't mean they don't like AR. Uh, so they are wearing AR goggles. Okay. Um, can I access the feed from the goggles? Uh, yes, you can. All right. I'll take a look at what they're seeing. Uh, they're seeing. Uh, each of the orcs is seeing three other orcs uh, downstairs. And upstairs, two orcs uh, are each seeing um, a video show that they're watching, a trit show that they're watching. Uh, downstairs, they're playing the drinking game with some cards. Uh, upstairs, they appear to be... Well, they don't appear to be more professional. They just appear to be not drinking on the job. <laughs> is, uh, is any of these people I, I can see our uh, are, are, are quarry? Uh, Jack Turner. Uh, did I, I? I forgot to check Jack Turner. I'm sorry. I should have done that. Oh, uh, 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 should I allow? Okay. Uh, Jack Turner. Okay. Upstairs uh, were the two orcs. And can you see Jack? Can you find Jack Turner or not? Uh, yes, uh, there is uh, upstairs again. There's a uh, there's a, a, a one of the um, there appears to be someone whose comlink identifies him as Jack Turner. Um, he's uh, pacing back and forth, looking at a wall. Uh, in the same room as him is a girl tied up on a chair. Okay, I will pass this information along to the group and say he's definitely on the ship. Uh, I think he may have uh, the archaeologist we're looking for, and it looks like there's five guards. Well, that uh, makes things six, simpler. Uh, six guards. Six guards. Uh, just... I mean, technically, if you think about it, Volk, hmm. they only want Jack Turner alive, right? Yeah. Hmm. Who for thought? Uh, did they want the arch- who wanted the archaeologist? Did they want him alive? No, no, no. They I want don't... they want Jack Turner. The first person wants the archaeologist. The second person wants the stone. But I'm saying the six guards. <clears throat> oh yeah, no. Uh, whatever. Um, nobody wants the six guards that I know of yet. I'm not sure if you'll be sidetracked by yet another person offering you a job. <laughs> Bring me the six guards of Jack Turner, for they are the greatest guards on the planet, and I must have them as my own. I will pay you 5,000 new yen. Just like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Oh, God. So, who wants to go raid a pirate vessel? Sounds like fun, but how can we guarantee, uh, the archaeologist's safety when we go barging in. Mm. Hey, is uh, is Jack cybered? Uh, Jack doesn't. Ap- uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jack doesn't appear to be cybered. Hey, flashback. See if you can get anything on him. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take a look specifically at Jack, see if I can find anything running silent on him. Oh, I was going to say, uh, try hacking his fuck. Yeah, he's already... We, was, we already said that he's hacked it. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm already, uh, yeah, I'm already on his, his network and whatnot. Hmm. So, he got the he got the goon networking plan? Cool. Hmm. Yeah. You think it'd be cheaper if we all went for like a runner networking plan for our comlinks? <laughs> I don't understand this word. Cheaper? 
<laughs> well, um... So, yes, no, checking Jack Turner? Like, what do you mean, what do you mean checking him, exactly? Well, oh wait, Douglas, did you answer the question of, is, is anything running silent on him? Well, did you, uh, did you make a roll? Make a big oh, yeah. perception. Uh, no. yeah, I, I won't make you roll that, because uh, in theory you can just roll it repeatedly, can't you? Uh, well, he could be detected in the process. No, it's, it's a le it's a legal action, so you, it you doesn't know. even trigger anything. Mm. Uh, you could just do it over and over. You could do uh, in theory. I, I'm allowed to. I think there's a penalty of minus one per roll, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we could still probably do a stupid number of rolls. So uh, no, uh, you. I don't. Uh, I mean, I, I'm going to say there doesn't appear to be anything there. But then uh, you have some confidence in your dice pool on the fact that I didn't make you roll at all. Um, uh, just the comlink that, goggles. Just the comlink and the goggles. Uh, that uh, appears to be the same for everybody, in fact. Hmm. Uh, with a little thought, um, I'm, uh, am I telling sure. you your job here? Uh, Wei Young will peep in that if you had some uh, smoke grenades, you could blind them by taking their goggles down. Yeah. Are there any smoke so, grenades on the ship? Uh, no, but you could have bought some because they're only cheap. Is there a smoke saw us around here? <laughs> Grenade shack. You do, uh, unfortunately, there's no grenade shack late, uh, local. And whilst I, uh, whilst really? Grenade... In Pirate Cove, there's nowhere that specializes in grenades. I'm actually shocked. Yes, yeah, yeah. uh, uh, To be fair, if you wanted to spend a, a couple of hours or even a day or more, uh, then you, Squirrel, could probably find someone down here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, well, let's do the direct approach, shall we, Squirrel? But there isn't any. Uh, but there isn't anywhere that says grenades are us and big flashing neon AR on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> so well, um, is Jack Turner in a room by himself with the girl tied up? Uh, isn't I? I'm not going to call it a room because it uh, calling it a room would be. Uh, too much. It would be an insult uh, to rooms. It would be an insult to rooms. Uh, no, uh, he's in one a, a section of a room uh, that's separate from the two orcs upstairs, as opposed to the four orcs downstairs. Okay. But uh, you know, he's in the same room with with the two orcs. It's just that there, um, there's a screen or something equivalent to that in the way. Hmm. Hmm. I, know, I was just looking through the maps and they gave me a map for the um, uh, Lord's Rooms but they didn't give me a map for the warehouse because I should have called this a warehouse but uh, both is the same thing yeah. Squirrel let's go have a word with him oh they do actually yeah. do they? well oh, yeah, okay. do we want to just go up and try and have a chat or do we want to ask around and see if there's an excuse we can use to talk to him. He's a smuggler. So we're going to go up asking him to smuggle something? Hmm. As my eyes slowly, very slowly, with the puppet slowly getting on the hand, with the puppet's eyes slowly turning, for all four eyes to stare at flashback. <laughs> Why are you all looking at me? We're gonna we're gonna tell them a bold faced lie. We're gonna well, we're gonna tell them you're a technomancer. Guys, what no. I, I don't like this plan at all. I, if I was him I would not let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah, let's just, I don't like and, this plan a bit. And where is our AI friend? Uh, my van wouldn't fit down the stairs. 
Uh, I, I hold up. I you're hold up you're a staying bug. in the van. I hold up a little bug, and also you don't know he's an AI. Where is our rigor? Is what you say, isn't it? Because you're yeah. really convinced. Uh, until you make a roll, actually, you can make rolls to um, determine that he's an AI if you want to. What's a roll? The Sorry. really fancy program that apparently can make its own decisions <laughs> and rig things. He's a rigger. He's a rigger. That's it. How about Decker? Oh, no, we're going to... Well, you're obviously not a Decker, because I have to see you touch a deck, and I've seen you collapse while facing other hackers. I have a deck, and every time I go hot stem, I pull my deck out. Yeah. Okay. He, has, he actually has a deck. Yeah, I do. It's... And uh, Decker's... And we have a remote... And we have a remote rigger, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, he... I, I will stick with this story for now. As I said, you're welcome to make a roll to um, uh, believe he isn't. But yeah, it's all right. Uh, yeah, I'd have to make a con check, which would work, work very well. But, you know, I'm trying to... Pass well, off. I have no reason to doubt you at the moment. So the first right. time I see an inconsistency, I'll call for a roll. Okay. Although I do believe Wayne talked about meat bags and stuff like that, so. Uh, he did, yes. Okay. Uh, because it, because it was fun at the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving forward. Uh, anyway. How do I import? How do I, I um? How I do I import a picture? How do I import a picture uh, to um? Uh, a struggle. Uh, roll twenty. Weekly. <laughs> I struggle weekly. I, t I tie up his arms, tie up his legs, hoist him up like a sack of potatoes, and I'm like, we're going to smuggle human. Well, I mean, I, I would not let him don't do that. don't have to. I'm just saying, um, I could go in as a envoy of the Vori, looking to acquire more vessels to assist in their acquisitions. Man, eh, flashback gets uh, tossed on the deck. Psh, got the deck of the ship, the deck of the the deck of the dock. All right, gentlemen, or is that a story everyone's comfortable with? How do I import pictures in Roll Twenty from Map? Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, okay, that works. Great, thanks. Mm. I thought he was going to say, I can't find the dragon key. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to the any key. <laughs> uh, they only have a dragon key on dragon computers, and I don't have a dragon computer, because it's a 32-bit thing that was, only, um, that was only produced in the 1980s for a small amount of time. Although at least it's Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's apparently a thing. Nice. <laughs> Okay. Um, I put a map on the untitled page for you. Oh yeah, we got a map. We got a map. It's a map. It's a map. It's not a boat. Uh, it, it's now a boat slash warehouse. Uh, this is the layout of the inside of the boat, which for somehow, for some reason, looks a lot like a warehouse. I can dig it. Maybe he calls this boat the warehouse. Nah, it's called uh, Lucky Something. Actually, actually, I, I, technically you were meant to go onto the boat, uh, hack his computer, and find out he's in the warehouse. But I skipped that on the basis that uh, people will want to go at some point. If I remember last, the two weeks ago correctly. I'm not seeing anything. Where did you say you dropped it? On the, the newest page in row 20 called go up, Untitled. Go up to page toolbar, click that, and uh, it's the fourth image. Ah, I see it now. There but, you uh, go. I think what you were referring to is the GM, GM controls, which I surrendered. So. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll all approach... The uh, warehouse by whatever entrance seems the most appropriate. Uh, I... Boat. Okay, this is the boat. Yes. It looks like a warehouse. Okay. Yes. It's, 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 it's now a boat slash warehouse. 
Okay. Yeah. It's a, a square boat. It's a barge. Ugh. Yes. This is the cabin area on the deck of the boat. Uh, the first, uh, the ground floor being partially under the deck uh, on the hull and partially above. The, the, you know, you know those boats where you know those things where you have to go down steps into the f- ground floor, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. another a story above that that's almost at um, normal ground floor, but uh, just a bit above that. So it's like that. Okay. So. Hmm. Let's see here. How to get their attention. Getting their attention is easy. Getting them not to shoot back at you is harder. I'll walk up with my hands above my head and uh, wait for somebody to answer because I assume we, we found cameras facing the street, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, you can turn those cameras off. I mean, uh, uh, Flashback will definitely be able to turn the cameras off. Yeah. Uh, but, but that, lo- that, that'll only get you an element of surprise. Uh, well, we don't want surprise. We want them to come out and talk to us. So it seems good to let them see me approaching with those guys at a distance. Okay. Shit. Uh, I will try and work out what the fuck to do about that. Damn faces and their peaceful options. I know, right? Da, da, da. Wait, Douglas, you had peaceful options? Oh. I don't think there is a peaceful resolution to this. No, no I mean with uh, Jack Artful, you had peaceful options? Uh, they, no, just tell them to shoot themselves in the head. That way I didn't have to. It's simpler. Uh... For those of you at home, Jack Hartful was a mystic adept. Mystic adept with command voice. Are these windows? Are there windows on this, Douglas? Uh, if there are windows on the map, there are windows, otherwise there are not. I didn't hear that at all. Uh, if there are windows on the map, there are windows. If there are not, there are not. Okay. And I believe they are sh- showing windows because okay. there's markings there's, on the second floor. Yep, yeah, c- certainly the top floor has windows. Uh, the ground floor doesn't appear to have windows on the basis nope. that it's half uh, half underground. All right, I uh, well, now, I yell out. If, if he's Oi! through, I thought I was approaching peacefully and just letting them come to us. Are we going to really shout at them? Yeah, I'm sure they're aware of our presence. Okay, yeah, if you walk up to them, so if you're doing that, you're, you're genuinely, if we're doing that, then yeah, uh, fine, you can walk up to uh, the boat. Uh, the boat's, you know, the, the, there aren't any waves or anything, There's, the boat's not rocking, and it's big enough to deal with that anyway. Um, it's just sat there uh, on the key, uh, on the, um, it's not, key's not the word. Uh, anyway, pier. the but, pier. The, uh, but sack there on the pier, uh, and uh, you can climb aboard or walk aboard uh, up the gangplank. Uh, as you climb aboard, there, um, I'm sure Flashback will communicate that they seem to be hustling around the security screen at this point, as they notice you. And you said you walk up to the door. Uh. Well, if we're doing the gangplank, I'll walk like maybe a couple steps up the gangplank and wait. As I said, with my hands palm out above my head. So with your hands in the air. Yes. Okay. Uh, Just like he doesn't, really doesn't care. I was going to say they take that as the international symbol for shoot me and open fire. <laughs> well, he's going. Uh, to, I want to go hot Sam and have my my. Uh, Two sprites ready, just in case I need them. Sounds good. Uh, that's fine. Uh, good. Um, I assume nobody here's a long arms expert. Uh, hey. How experty do you want? Someone who could post on a nearby roof and shoot. Bit hard to do that with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's a little difficult. I only brought my pistol. Well. Didn't bring my rifle. You could, you could, if you want to be that clever, the wall's made out of wood. You can shoot them through the wall. 
course, you can't see the the wall, which makes aiming a little bit harder. But um, oh, that's uh, easy. I just uh, <clears throat> switch over to thermal. Shoot a hole. Well, I was going to say I shoot a hole through the wall, then stick uh, the nose of my gun through and let the smart gun system do the vi- uh, vi- viewing for me. That is cycle. too close to snipe. <laughs> Blow a couple holes in the bottom of the boat and shoot them as they run uh, out. <laughs> Douglas. Yes. So, I do, people are approaching. Wait, Douglas, I do that, and uh, I'm five meters behind behind uh, Squirrel. So you're, and, okay. Uh, how are your hands? I sent you a message. Well, Oh, right, okay, fair enough. Uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, uh, you do that. Um, flashback will indicate that they appear to notice on the screen someone approaching uh, and are watching. The fact that you've got your hands raised in the air um, confuses them enough that they're not going to immediately act and are hesitant to do anything. Uh, they call to Jack and uh, Jack... Um, Watch, starts watching the screen too. Good evening, gents. I'm looking for a Mr. Jack Turner. Yeah, there, there's no risk. <laughs> uh, the volume. Uh, the volume of their silence is deafening as they continue to watch the screen and uh, mutter uh, nothing of importance to themselves. I was reported to you by Flashback, who would like to report that. Flashback, would you like to report it? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll basically keep a uh, running stream of what's happening. No one's coming out to just say what the hell do you want? Uh, No. It's like, come on, five seconds or the elf gets it. We don't care. Oh, never mind. I guess I'll proceed up the gangplank. Uh, the Mimbrin is more urgent internally uh, as they're considering their options. Uh, flashback, would you like to make... Uh, oh, you're just, are you just sending the feed to everyone or are you passing on important parts? He said he's uh, sending the feed to everyone. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm passing all the feed to everyone who can see it. I got many, picture in picture. How many of how how many of the cameras would you like to pay attention to at the same time as walking up a gangbang? I will pay attention to the one that has the most people around it, and it'll be like a picture in picture thing in the corner of my eye. Yeah, I assumed picture in picture. That's exactly what I imagined. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, you're. Uh, I know. You've got judge intentions and sense motive and that kind of stuff that are at a reasonably high yes. level, don't you? Um, so, yeah, uh, Jack Turner uh, appears to be uh, nervous uh, and jittery. I call out, I'm here to discuss business on behalf of Erin Kusenstoff. Kusenstoff. Who is that? That is a Red Vor enforcer. He's one of the big honchos in the underground around here. Okay. Uh, and make a sense motive roll. What you do? Judge intentions, whichever you prefer, really, I suppose. I think they give slightly different results, wouldn't they? What is that? That is judge intentions, and it is uh, four successes. Yes. I'm going to stay behind him. And if Volk's near me, I'm going to start speaking in Russian. All right. Why don't you just speak in Russian in general? It helps tell the story. That's why I said I'm I'm starting to speak in Russian. Okay. And it's just going to be like a basic babble crap, so... Yay, glitch! Uh, Yeah, yay, glitch! Um... Is that glitch? I think it is. Um, no, no, there's just no successes. Yeah. Isn't that glitch? It's a glitch no. rather than. 
No, a critical uh, glitch. Though. A glitch is one success and half the dice as ones. A critical glitch is half the dice as ones, no success. I thought it okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, that's, that's 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 um, okay, uh, then I'll check Twitter. Um, uh, poops a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the boat suddenly gets heavier. Or lighter? That's not how pooping works. <laughs> uh, all, all the same amount of weight is still on the boat. <laughs> I, I, just thought, I just thought he shat a boat. There's just a new smell in addition to diesel and fish. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So he poops a little bit and panics. Uh, he tells everyone to get in cover and draw their weapons. Um, they clearly intend to set up uh, an ambush for anyone trying to enter. I understood this was a smuggling vessel. We're trying to set up a uh, arrangement for continuing service. Douglas? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to switch to thermographic vision. Can I see, like, thermal signatures through the wood? Uh, not through wood, no. Uh, on the upstairs... Uh, you can maybe you could have seen people walking around uh, until they took cover, uh, but I did just say they took cover, yeah. so now you can't. But can I give can I get a get in like an estimation as to where Mr. Jack Turner is? Yeah, you've got a fair ride uh, uh, on the upstairs with the two orcs and Jack Turner uh, upstairs. Uh, you're not going to be able to see the girl as she's locked in the closet. Um, you've got a fair idea where they went, but you know you're not. Uh, you could say that they're in an area rather than are there specifically. Does that make sense? Listen, Jack. Why don't you and your two bodyguards come down here and actually have a conversation? Um, in Russian to the uh, to to uh, Squirrel, who doesn't speak Russian, but then the sub vocally in. Uh, common to him. Don't forget to mention the four guys downstairs. If you want to send one or two of the four people you've got hiding downstairs, that's fine. If you really, really want to sell it, say something about the girl. I mean, if... <clears throat> I don't want to bring up the girl right now, I think. That, that's playing too much. But yeah, you basically told him that we know he's in there. You know, we know he has two people with him, and we know that there are four people downstairs. If you like, I could just have somebody fire a rocket into the base of the boat. Uh, okay, that uh, that gets an answer. Uh, the answer comes in terms of a dodge roll. Uh, as someone takes steps up to the window, uh, punches a... I'll tell you what he punches through. Uh, punches a... Fuck! Uh, no, you don't... Um, punches an Ares Predator, heavy pistol. Uh, uh, yes. Can we say because of that message I sent you earlier, I've been technically kind of, in a way, holding my action, waiting for something like this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um... No, because Overwatch is a specific action uh, in this system, and you should uh, and you'd need to be pointing it rather than have it ready. Okay. But as, uh, soon, as soon as he shoots him, can I get a shot at him? Uh, I I expect you'll be able to get. A sh uh, I, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a shot back at him before he gets the duck. Then. Um, Overwatch would allow you to shoot first, I think. Hmm. Um, but uh, that'll allow you to shoot at least before he ducks, I think. I think that's reasonable. Because you'd still have to whip your hand around. Indeed. Uh, and he's just going to pop up and shoot. So I think he would get to act first. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, after, after which we'll do initiative. Um, so would you like to make a dodge roll? 
I'll take a full defense. I mean, this entire time I've been defensive. No, no, I'm perfectly happy for you to be full defense for this. Uh, what's his dice pool? Okay. <sighs> and remember, I said I was in stick and shock. I know. Ah, you know, for a smuggler, he doesn't seem to have much interest in business. Uh, no, he's just broken into kidnapping, and this is his first time he's not, um... I just kind of shrug in, in Russian, in Russian that only Volk can actually understand. Well, you came off a little bit too, a little bit too hard there, and at the same time, he's, uh... <laughs> he's a skittish little smuggler. Of course he's gotta fucking shoot first. <clears throat> well, we were told he was a charming fellow. I thought he'd at least have enough manners to say hello. Uh, he might have, but this paragraph that I didn't read aloud, because uh, it's not meant to be read aloud, says, Turner is paranoid, and even before kidnapping Fiona, he had some beefy security in the building. Since then, he's beefed it up further, expecting either someone to come looking for Fiona, or to steal the morals.